Hi, welcome to Victorious Living Stepping Forward. I'm your host, Sheridan Korea, and I am also your sister in Christ. I am the digital content manager for uh, Victorious Living, and I just want to welcome you to today's show. Um, here at Victorious Living uh, Stepping Forward, what we do is uh, I share practical tools um, to living a victorious life. And I share these from my own um, life experiences and from my own journals and from my own journey um, through living, um, living a life of freedom and living a life in Christ, in my identity in Christ. So just to kind of recap uh, myself, I've been living in freedom and living as a new creation for six years and um, been free from mental health illnesses, addiction, um, trauma, chaos, dysfunction, uh, bitterness, uh, rejection, hopelessness. I mean, you name it, I've been through it. <clears throat> and so here I'm sharing all of my knowledge, all of my wisdom, good and bad, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You're all, you're going to get it all right here. So the, what we've been to, uh, talking about lately in the, in the last, um, part one and part two about addiction, what's really going on, what's really going on with addiction, what's behind addiction, what's underneath addiction. Um, I don't, or I believe that we just don't wake up one day and we're like, yeah, I want to be like, when I grow up, I want to be an inmate. I want to be a prisoner. I want to be arrested all the time. I want to be um, addicted to drugs. I want to be a gang member. I want to be abused. I want to abuse other people. I don't believe that we just wake up and that just happens. Um, so in, in kind of recapping part one and part two of addiction, you know, addiction is just the side effect of something that's deeper, something that's been um, going on for a long time that then becomes, we become a side effect of something um, is the addiction. The addiction is the side effect of something going on. So... <clears throat> I want to show you this. So just to, to con we're going to continue along that same journey and we're really going to open up this space um, and see what's going on here underneath. But I want to show you this. So this is a little plant, <laughs> a little plant that I pulled out of my yard. And I want to, I want you to see this underground root system okay it even has i'm not sure what this is i've never seen that before but it kind of looks like it kind of looks like an an acorn and maybe the plant just grew around it like something that was in the way and it just kind of grew around it and kind of maybe even grew in it or maybe you know what maybe that is an actual acorn and it's sprouting from that that's what think it is oh my gosh I almost tried to pull it off y'all like that don't belong but I wanted to show that to you and and see you can you can see just all this underground root system and I don't know if you can I'm trying to get out of the way so y'all can like see that really well here we go and you can see there's a lot of roots and and you know you have like the main longer roots but you see all those little extensions and those little roots coming out from underneath it. And then you even have like this big old long thing that's like shooting out of here. So from these roots, from this original sprout, you have this growing down and you have this growing up, right? Our root life determines our fruit life. All right, that is a, a biblical truth. We see that in scripture over and over. You reap what you sow. When God created the, uh, the earth in, um, in Genesis um, 1, and he started producing or started creating and, 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 and planting the vegetation, it says, you know what, let's just go here. Let's just go here. Genesis 1, 11. Genesis 1 11. 
Here we go. It says, then God said, let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed bearing plant and trees that grow seed bearing fruit. These seeds, these seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed bearing plants and trees with seed bearing fruit. Here's the key. Their seeds produce plants and trees of the same kind. When we think about seeds, we think about plants, we think about um, trees, you cannot, you cannot uh, um, plant an apple seed and expect lemons to come out of it. You just can't do that. That's not the way it works. That's not the way God designed things. That's not the order of God. So if you have a seed and you put it in the ground, that's what's going to come out, right? And we being created in God's own image and in the likeness of God, that's the same thing. If, if we are created in his image, we are products, we are fruits of that same seed, of that same kind, okay? So if you plant a, an acorn in the ground, if you plant a, um, a pine seed in the ground, you're going to get a pine tree, right? If you plant um, some mint seeds, some cucumber seeds, let's do that, cucumber seeds in the ground, you're going to get cucumbers. You reap what you sow. If you plant watermelon seeds in the ground, are you gonna get a cantaloupe? No, that's crazy. No, you're not gonna get a cantaloupe. You're going to get a watermelon, okay? so. Understanding our roots in our, uh, in our creation, in, in us being new creation, in us being an, an image of God, in us being created in the image of God, it is vital for us to understand and know this. I believe knowledge is power. The more that we know, the more that we understand the way or, or the reasons why we are the way that we are how we got to this place of, okay, I'm, I'm addicted to drugs. I'm, um, I am um, uh, an inmate. I have a, uh, a sentence that I am to carry out. I am locked up. And so how did I get here? Um, we have to ask ourselves these questions. We want to think about, you know, why, why I am the way that I am. Why am I the way that I am? Why do I react the way that I do to life? Why do I, why do I think the way that I do? Why do I, uh, yeah, like how did I, how did I become this? If, if you saw the addiction part one and part two, you know that, you know, I, there was a lot of brokenness, a lot of traumatizing things in my past. And once I came to a relationship and said yes to Christ, it was like, all right, and, and, and went to Phoenix Rescue Mission instead of prison. It was like, for me, I, I really had to ask myself some questions like, all right, how do I not, <laughs> how do I not repeat that? If I, if I don't want that result, I have to do something different. If I want my life to truly, truly change, I'm not gonna be doing the same old stuff. That's not change, that's doing the same old things. And actually, um, the, the, um, the ministry, the place where I was, the uh, uh, program, the, I don't wanna call it a homeless shelter because it was more than that, but I called it life school, the school that I was at to really change my life and turn it around and, and be shepherded by a community and, and safe people, discipled to really understand my new self and my new creation. It was called the Changing Lives Centered Center. And I took that so, so personally. I didn't want, I didn't want the same old life. I didn't want to keep going back to jail and have this revolving door of brokenness. I didn't want to, uh, you know, fight for my life and and literally 
literally try not to die, literally in survival mode all the time. I knew there, there had to been something different. Um, this, this just couldn't be my life. And, you know, I had experienced that at the, in the beginning stages of my life. You know, I went to college, uh, was a, um, uh, division one soccer athlete, um, you know, had a music scholarship to college. So I experienced, you know, some good, healthy and positive stuff, but there was also a lot, a lot of brokenness in my life also. So coming back to Genesis, coming back to even, um, uh, in Galatians where Paul, Paul talks about and reiterates the law of nature and the biblical truth and the way God designed life, you reap what you sow. So if we are, well, let me, let me define a root for, first, because this is really, really telling. A root is, a root is the underground part of a seed, plant, or body, and functions as the organ of absorption oxygenation and food storage or as a means of anchorage and support are you serious are you serious so there's two there's two roles in these in this root system here it feeds the plant so that it can grow into whatever and it also anchors it so that it can grow it supports all of this stuff so that what what is uh, what is anchored to the ground can then grow up into whatever this plant is supposed to be. So I hope you can see and get a picture of how important your how important the root is to the maturity, to the maturation, to the development, to the growth of whatever this is going to be. Our life is the same same way. Okay, what our roots look like and what our roots are doing is what is going to be produced. So going back to addiction part one and part two, if our root life determines our fruit life, addiction is a side effect or a result of something that's deeper, something that's in our roots, that's what we're gonna take a look at. That's what we're going to really talk about. I want to show you this. Now I drew this here trait. Well, I didn't draw it, I printed it out. And then I tried to color it, but I don't know if you can see that. Now this tree right here, again, we're kind of working backwards. So if addiction, more talking about addiction, you know, incarceration, these unhealthy things that we are now, um, um, showing signs of, or that is our behavior all the time, um, is up here. So we have to go back down to our roots. Our root life determines our fruit life. So if we are seeing certain fruits or behaviors or side effects of things happening in our life, we have to move down the tree and come up down into these roots. So we're going to talk about this root system right here, okay? Now there are... Um, well, there are a bunch of roots that happen in our root system. Let me get my notes here. Hold on just a second. I have so many papers over here. Okay. So our, here's the tree. Now this is, um, this is kind of like a tree of death. Okay, I hope you can see when you're looking at this tree, ain't nothing really going on, right? There's no foliage, there's no greenery, there's no fruit, there's nothing. It's just kind of a dead tree. It's, it's got nothing going on, kind of a sad tree. This tree is likened unto our, uh, our human nature. Another word for human nature is our sin nature. It is what we are just handed. It is what we come into the world with. And if we, again, we go back to the book of Genesis when the world started and this whole story started, 
they're hanging out with God, um, talking with God, communing with God all day, every day. And God gives them some instruction. Hey, don't do that. Stay away from that. You can do all this cool stuff, but don't go, don't go near that one tree. So Adam and Eve, they do, they, they disobey God and then sin enters the world, right? So now we are as much as our, as much as, as much as part of our genetic identity of looking like a human, being a human, you look like your mama, you look like your daddy, blah, 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 blah. Like I have really long fingers like my mom and my dad. That's part of the genetic hand, hand me down that we get. Sin, our sin nature is like that, okay? So if this tree is like our sin nature and in our root life is sin and destruction and harm and things that promote um, trauma and injury, what do you think is gonna come up looking like out here, in, in here? It's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. So addiction, incarceration, things like that, things that are harming us, that's, that's the fruit, that's the side effects of what is going on. Now I'm gonna talk about some, some things um, in our root life in the next episode, I'm gonna talk about that. So again, I want to tell you, you know, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Understanding why you are the way that you are is vitality, that is life, okay? Understanding why you think the way that you think. Understanding why you react to life the way that you do understanding who you are, what your true identity is, understanding where you came from, understanding that as a new creation, saying yes to Christ and being handed a new certificate, being born again, and now having a new identity in Christ as a free person, as, as somebody who is, in, who is created in the same likeness and image of God, God is love, that means we are to be love. Our life may not look like that, so how do we do that? How do we become love? How do we become images of our creator? And um, so I want to encourage you that uh, we're, we're gonna get into some really, um, some really meaty topics. We're gonna talk about some really uh, maybe some difficult things, some things that have happened to you, some things that have happened to me. Um, and understanding where we are coming from. And then we're going to talk about understanding where we're going to. You see this? You see this tree? You see how different it is than this tree? Okay. I just want to give you a visual here. That's what we're going to be doing this, this is going to be a, probably a really long series, but we're, we're going to find out. Maybe it's not going to be very long. <laughs> but again, here's our little, here's our little, um, our little plant, our little tree. Our root life determines our fruit life. So if we see really, really rotten and unhealthy fruit in our life, we got to see what's going down in our roots. Okay. So thank you for, for being here today. Guys, we have um, we have so many resources available, so many other resources available, and there's a couple on the slides. I will make some new slides that give you kind of more resources and, and spell out uh, what we are doing here even more, but uh, we have the magazine, okay? We have the magazine. I need to find, boom, here we go, <laughs> the magazine. This is the latest issue. We have the Victorious Living Magazine. If you are not getting this in your facilities, go to your chaplain, say, hey, there's this magazine. It is amazing. It is nothing but truth. It, it tells testimonies and stories of God, how God is changing people. I want to be changed too. I want to experience with the same things that these people are experiencing. There's also in here, there's Stepping Forward. So again, the Stepping Forward um, articles in this magazine, they're 
they're showcasing, they're highlighting and talking about, hey, how do you step forward in your faith? How do you step forward into a place of more freedom and, and truly living out your identity in Christ? That's what we're doing here on these shows. Praise God. We also have uh, the, the More Victorious Living broadcast with Christy Overton Johnson. She's all over this thing. She's doing a series, actually I just, I just uploaded the last one this past week, um, Free for Life for Real, for Real. And it is really, really good, really talking about how to uh, live out your freedom, how to step in freedom, how to stay in a place of freedom once you become free. And, um, and that's spiritually speaking and literally speaking. We also have the Victorious Living Podcasts. The video casts are, are on here, some of them, um, where we're going deeper into people's stories and really expanding what, what's going on in this, um, in this magazine. We also have the correspondence, our prison correspondents, write to us. We love getting your letters. Talk to us about what you're wrestling with. Tell us the praises and what you are uh, living victoriously in. We want to be a part of your life and, and to go through these things with you, to celebrate with you when, when, when there's pl times to rejoice and to mourn with you and cry with you in these times where, um, where it's really hard and, it's, and the struggle is real. So we're here with you in all of those things. Um, if you are calling us, if you are calling our ministry line, especially collect, we can't answer those y'all. So please write to us or email us at hope at vlmag.org. You can email us, same thing like writing us or calling us. And also, if you need a Bible, if you need a Bible and do not have one, here's mine. Um, I don't have my, my, my Rescue Not Arrested Bible, but I will put that information in, um, in the description down below. It's also in here, the information, if you need a Bible, it is also in here as one of our partners. And um, I'm trying to find it. Hold please, hold please. Here we go. Oh, found it, found it, here we go. It's on page 34. So there is a lot of our resources on this page, things you need to know, things that can help you, things that, uh, that can that can aid in your discipleship, aid in your development, your spiritual development that will change you. So please look at that. I'll include um, some of those in the description down below. If you have not subscribed to this channel, to our channel, please do that because um, there's a lot of really great stuff that is coming up. We love you. I love you. I am your co-journeyer on this journey called life. I'm your co-journeyer toward Christ, toward becoming more like Christ. And let me just pray us out. Um, Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love. Thank you for loving us first, God. Thank you for pursuing us, for chasing us down. Thank you for bringing us into relationship. Um, God, you love us that much that you don't want to leave any of us behind, Father. And we thank you for that. Um, God, as we talk about your putting on our divine nature, putting on what looks like you and putting off and getting rid of the things that, um, that is in our root system, the things that have been in our root system, God, we need you. We need you, Father. We need your heavenly perspective. We need your truth. We need your love in order to change, in order to transform. God, give us your, your ways, your thoughts, um, your desires in our lives, in our hearts. Father, let us not only understand it and get it, but let us be gotten by it and let us apply it and be changed for your glory. God, again, thank you for just your love, your grace, and your mercy. We are lost without it. We are hopeless without it, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So thank you for tuning in, family. I hope that this has made sense to you. 
Um, I will explain it uh, again. We will always come back to this and that tree and explain it again and we will move forward in our journey in, um, in this series. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Are you an inmate in prison who needs encouragement? Write to us at Victorious Living, P.O. Box 2751, Greenville, North Carolina, 27836. To view Victorious Living Magazine in its entirety, please have your chaplain contact us at 352-478-2098 or through our website, vlmag.org. We are happy to provide bulk copies free of charge with or without staples. God bless you.